Welcome back to Entertainment Tonight as we investigate Hollywood's plastic surgery secrets. At the age of 45, Antonia Hernandez was also ready for a major makeover. She began the process back in September, and our cameras have been with her every step of the way. Hi, T. This is my face before, and you'll be one of the first to see it after. Antonia first came to Beverly Hills plastic surgery expert, Dr. Paul Nassif, looking to fix her face. This skin that hangs. Uh, this is a feature of mine that I'm very uncomfortable with. Um, I'm very self-conscious of it. I don't like it. I think it adds years to, to me. We're making a small incision in the crease of your chin here, doing a little bit of liposuction here and here, and putting the muscles together at this point. After consultation, Antonia is going to have a head-to-toe makeover. This will include LASIK eye surgery, teeth bleaching and recontouring, liposuction of the upper arms and inner thighs, a brow lift, eyelid surgery, liposuction of the neck, a lower facelift, and a chin implant. This is actually the chin implant. It's what we call a pre-jowl chin implant. And that will fit just on the lower part of the face right here. I just want to get rid of those things that are just nagging at me, those things that have fallen a little and gravitated, um, you know, downwards. Dr. David Amron is the liposuction guru. He's going to operate with Antonia fully awake. She's not knocked out, actually. In her case, she's had uh, no anesthesia whatsoever, so I can get her position, just like I need to, to really sculpt the areas. I'm not a size 7. I don't want to be a size 7. I'm a 45-year-old woman, and I have no business being a size 7. I'd be very happy with a healthy size um, 11 or 12. I don't feel a thing. During the procedure, Dr. Amron tells Antonia what's happening as he does it. She's happy with her transformation, and so is her daughter. But as for her husband? I think my husband has real mixed feelings about this. So today, go home and just, just hang out. Take it easy. About two weeks after the liposuction comes Antonia's big day. What I'm marking right now is areas of the liposuction. It's time for the face rejuvenation and the various lifts that go along with it. I will be under approximately eight to nine hours. We were there for the nine-hour surgery as Antonia's brow, mid-face, and lower face are lifted, the chin implant put in, and parts of the neck are liposuction. She gave us a brave wave at the finale of the ordeal. She did wonderful during the procedure, and uh, she looks fantastic. So what we want to do is just refine uh, and update your hair and makeup a little to go with this gorgeous new face. But it doesn't just end with surgery. Dr. Nassif sent Antonia for a complete hair and makeup makeover at B2B Salon with colorist Kim Bo, stylist Peter Vandeveld, and makeup expert Mark Richard. Her face is still slightly swollen, but it's a whole new Antonia that meets with Dr. Nassif once again. I look good and I feel good and it's all thanks to Dr. Nassif. Antonia gave us these home movies of her daughter and husband's first look at her new face. And they were overjoyed. Hesitant hubby said she looked gorgeous. I'm thrilled. If you're going to be a plastic surgeon, you might want to hang your shingle in Beverly Hills. Dr. Nassif says he performs facial procedures on about seven patients every week.